Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marital Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. Mark, chapter 1, verses 40 to 45. A leper came to him and kneeling down begged him and said, If you wish, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand, touched the leper, and said to him, I do will it, be made clean. The leprosy left him immediately, and he was made clean. Then warning him sternly, he dismissed him at once. Then he said to him, See that you tell no one anything, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. The man went away and began to publicize the whole matter. He spread the report abroad so that it was impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. He remained outside in deserted places, and people kept coming to him from everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. We hear today that Jesus' heart was moved with pity for the crowd. However, several Gospel commentaries present a more suitable replacement for the word pity, which is compassion. Pity comes across as having somewhat of a condescending tone, like Jesus felt sorry for the leper like how someone feels sorry for a sick puppy. Compassion, on the other hand, presents a much more intimate and relatable approach where Jesus' humanity is stirred because he feels what the crowd is feeling. And our faith teaches that God, by having sent his Son to earth, was the ultimate show of compassion. Because through Jesus' two natures, divine and human, the full gamut of human emotions, as well as life's sufferings and joys, were directly felt and experienced by God who became man. But with God becoming a human being is infinitely more significant. So let us not forget the overwhelming love God has for us to actually go through with coming down to our human level, in order for us to experience full communion with God who became man. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and compassionate day. If you enjoyed today's gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at MaryKnollSociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at marinolmagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.